Good morning. I'm Dr. Pankaj Vora. We are here in the endoscopy suite today, and we are going to go ahead and do an upper uh, GI endoscopy uh, for a child six years old who we are suspecting has got celiac disease. With me, we have Naveen. He's our technician, and he's holding our endoscope, which, as you can see, is a very small endoscope, very thin, flexible tube, which has got a camera at the end. Uh, of which the images we are going to see on the screen uh, and we are going to start that in a minute. I can show you this screen again, that's my finger. Yeah. We also have with us a very important member of the team, uh, Dr. Sapan, he is going to um, provide sedation to the child. We do not do any procedures on children without sedation. so. Um, that is extremely important and we ensure that we have got all the safety equipment available for us before we go ahead and do the sedation and to help us uh, with the whole procedure we have our nurse so the team actually comprises of uh, besides myself a person who is an expert in sedating a nurse and a technician an endoscopy technician and um, we have got our monitors in place we have our monitors in place, we have our oxygen in place, we have to monitor this child's heart rate and blood pressure right through the procedure and um, it should be a completely painless procedure that takes about 10 minutes. Start the endoscopy, the child has been brought in, a cannula has been put, the child has been sedated, the child has been given oxygen uh, and monitoring is uh, continuous with the oxygen saturation, heart rate and blood pressure and the same team of four members are here. So I'm going to start now the endoscopy. As you can see, the child is uh, sleeping very comfortably, no noise, no, no, no discomfort whatsoever. All right, we're going to start now the procedure. Recording on. So we've intubated. This is the esophagus. That's the stomach. And we're going to go through nice and clean, except some food material again present. We're going to go through the uh, opening of the stomach, which is called the pylorus, which is right here. And the area of interest is now this. This is the small intestine, where uh, you can see the folds of the small intestine. But you can see that it's not a very nice, clean appearance. And uh, these are features that are suggestive of uh, celiac disease but we must take the biopsy to be sure uh, for the pathologist to tell us this is i'm going to show you that through the um, endoscope the biopsy forceps is going to come out uh, that's the biopsy forceps that's going to come out we're going to take biopsies uh, to the end of the procedure we've taken four bits uh, also called biopsies from the uh, swan intestine now we are back in the stomach that looks nice and clean. We don't need to take any biopsy pieces from here. This is the top part of the stomach. It looks all right. So um, this is the end of the procedure. It took about seven to eight minutes. A totally painless procedure. And we have uh, achieved our objective of trying to get uh, endoscopic biopsies from the small intestine, also called as the duodenum, which is then sent to the pathologist. And that is an absolute must to make a diagnosis of celiac disease. Uh, we are now going to shift the baby out to the um, to the endoscopy waiting area where the nurse will monitor the child till the child is awake and alert. It should take about half an hour for the child to wake up. Then we give the child some fluids to drink and once the child has taken fluids, we are going to take the intravenous cannula out and uh, send the child home. Thank you.